Bruce Johnson here along with Jan Jeffco. From a number of sources, we've got new information as to what's going on downtown surrounding the White House from both uh, CBS and CNN. We now hear that a man has been shot, apparently by Secret Service outside the White House. He is in critical condition. Also, the White House was put on lockdown. Yeah, we're told the Secret Service officer shot him after he allegedly showed a gun. The president was not at the White House. He's reportedly playing golf with three of his aides at Joint Base Andrews. But we are told that Vice President Joe Biden was at the White House and he evidently was rushed uh, to a secure area of the building when this all, all went down. Uh, Garrett Hake is live on the scene for us right now with more information. Garrett. Hi, Jan. We just got to the White House. We're on the southeast side, sort of the ellipse facing side of the White House, where if you can look behind me, you can see significantly increased security presence here based on what you would normally see on a busy Friday afternoon. The tourists here are being kept back. No folks in here, not entirely clear what's going on. The White House grounds itself still on lockdown, but tourists are still surrounding the area. You mentioned Joe Biden being rushed away. As we were arriving, there was a convoy leaving the White House grounds, a, a limousine and the typical security accompaniment to that, which we are left to assume might have been the vice president leaving. But enormous uh, traffic problems around this area, the entire area shut down on the uh, Constitution Avenue side, on the mall side of the White House. We're trying to work our way around to the front of the building uh, and get to the opposite side of the White House where we understand this event took place. But we, along with an enormous amount of police from multiple different agencies are sort of all swarming the scene here at the same time as they try to secure the area and we try to get to the bottom of what exactly has happened. It is our understanding that this shooting took place on the northwest side of the White House, sort of towards Lafayette Park. So hopefully we can get back to you here in a few minutes with a better look at uh, exactly where this might have happened. Bruce yeah, Gary, stay right you. where Stay right where you are. If I'm looking at this picture, right, I think it would be to the left of where you are. But we had heard earlier that some of this activity may have spilled over to the Washington Monument. You can get a visual view of the monument from where you are right now. Do you see any kind of activity there? Yeah, Bruce, I get the sense that that's probably some of the noise you get in some of these breaking news situations. We approached the White House from the Washington Monument. We were initially dispatched to the Washington Monument to investigate the reports of a possible shooting there. But as we approached, really no police presence there other than steering people around and away from some of the roads here that lead up towards the White House. So uh, hard to prove a negative, but at this point, it doesn't look like there was anything particularly happening at the Washington Monument, except perhaps people there hearing what was going on here and the, the area and the confusion. Uh, sort of spreading in the initial moments after this shooting took place, Bruce. Well, Garrett, as I look at Twitter right now, I see a lot of visitors who are uh, in that area. They say that they saw lots of people with guns after the shots were heard. Have you had a chance to talk to some of the visitors there? Uh, only just a little bit, Jan. You know, we, we, people are sort of asking us what happened as we're trying to put it together. Folks have seen, you know, some of these convoys of folks leaving. They are noticing the increased security presence. Uh, it is sort of a calm atmosphere over here. You wouldn't necessarily know if this was your first time at the White House that anything is out of the ordinary. You would just think the security uh, is, uh, is fairly tight and fairly visible, I would say. I mean, the presence of security officers with long guns in some of the parks uh, dotting the area surrounding the White House would, uh, would certainly raise the radar for anyone who lives in Washington and is in this area frequently, but for folks who are just stopping by, may not look entirely out of the ordinary. And in fact, people are continuing to pass. Okay, Garrett, don't want to uh, don't want to cut uh, you off really, at this point, uh, Garrett. But yeah. we, we we need to talk about what people are looking at. This is not live video. This is tape video. Obviously, Secret Service law enforcement responding to the initial reports of some serious activities surrounding the White House. As we've already reported, CBS and CNN have both confirmed that uh, somebody has been shot, a suspect was shot, brandishing a gun uh, uh, in full view of Secret Service. This is the response. This is on top of the White House. You saw all law enforcement responding to the front. We also hear from DC Mayor Muriel Bowser, Parameters of the White House, local law enforcement, Metropolitan Police also responded to that area. It, it's textbook type stuff. This is what they do when they have an emergency. There was a lockdown. We think it's still in place inside the White House. Jan has mentioned that the vice president was there. We don't know about the rest of the first family. We do know the president was playing golf, but we don't know about Michelle Obama. We don't know about the girls. We right. don't know about the mother-in-law. We don't know about staff. Yeah, that's right. I'm seeing that the press at the White House were told to shelter in place. But the video that we just showed you moments ago was video that was just into our newsroom. You saw Secret Service officers uh, there running across the lawn, clearing the area. This is the video again, just moments into our newsroom. We also saw snipers uh, on the roof of the building. Now this after shots were fired there 
uh, on the White House, as you said, Garrett, on the northwest side. Are there uh, a lot of visitors there? Anyone you can talk to that might have seen any of this? Okay. Garrett's on the move, trying to get more information for us. Uh, let, let's back up just a little bit. Don't have to go back too far. Around 3.15, somebody from CBS did get a text outside from the White House saying uh, th that uh, U.S. Secret Service shot a male suspect, unknown what initiated it. Sources say it happened outside the White House gates, and the location we got was 17th and Executive uh, which is very close to, right. to the White House. And as for what initiated that, according to sources with CNN, it was because that man showed a weapon, and that's why they fired the shots to take him down there. Uh, again, visitors writing on Twitter that they saw lots of people with guns, which we just showed you there, uh, after those shots were fired. Again, the president not on the property, but we don't know about the First Lady or uh, any of his other family members there, but we do know that Joe Biden was there at the White House. And Jan, what we're hearing right now from CBS is that the lockdown in the White House has been lifted. That's the good news. Uh, the situation apparently well in hand. We're going to have more information as it becomes available, but that lockdown has been lifted. We expect that all of those reporters who've been uh, sheltered in place in the basement of the White House will be uh, coming forth, yeah. letting us know exactly what happened. Okay, much more information to come. This is Call of Duty Goddess signing off, and as always, I've got your six.